Hello and welcome to another video from Black Arab. In this video, we're gonna we're gonna be showing you guys how to expand your storage um, on your Kali Linux VM machine. So if you like this video and this type of content, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, let's get straight into it. Um, I will link my blog that I've written about this in the description, but it's just on my website here. So yeah, we go through the whole process step by step, all in here. So yeah, if you haven't seen this or you prefer the kind of written version instead of listening to my voice then just yeah i'll link this in the description check it out um yeah without further ado let's get started okay first thing you guys want to do is actually go into your vmware just to edit some settings so we just open our vmware workstation player okay um Okay, so you want to select your machine and go into Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Um, from this screen, you want to go to Hard Disk there. So the default here is 80 gigabytes. So we're going to expand this to, let's say, 200. So if you were to type 200 into here and just click Expand. It says the disk was successfully expanded. You must repartition the disk and expand the file system from within the guest operating system. So we know that's done on the virtual machine side and we just click OK out of here. Now we just need to actually go into the machine and um, repartition the disk to make sure it works basically because yeah, it's not that easy. I wish it was, but yeah, if we just load up the machine, Yeah, you just sign in as normal. Okay, so once you're on here, um, you need to open a command prompt. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is gonna use a command called f disk dash l. Oh, need to be in sudo. Okay, so as you can see here, these are our partitions, um, our memory essentially. So um, the Linux swap, um, swap Solaris, and the extended are two kind of little partitions that we need to keep. Um, we can't kind of delete these out and just make that bigger. We just need to kind of um, mess around in Gparted, which I'll show you in a second, to do this. So as you can see. We have 79 gig in this, which is basically the 80 gig at this little partition of 975 um, megabytes. But you can see the total we have available up here does say 200 gig. Um, so it's just a case of expanding this to basically fit that. So to do this, we're going to use a command called G parted like this, just G and then parted. Press enter and it will open up this little menu. Let's see if we can make this bigger. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is the Linux swap here. We need to turn this off by just clicking swap off. Um, now you'll know that's off because that little kind of circle thing disappears. Um, so as you can see, we've got 120 gig of unallocated space, which is just the extra space we've kind of just added onto there in the VMware settings. So what you want to do is you want to go to extended here first. Um, you want to click resize or uh, move. And with this part, you're just going to want to drag it all the way across like that. And then just select that. Okay, so as you can see, this is kind of allocated that to the extended bit. Um, that's not exactly what we want right now, so we're going to have to resize and remove the Linux swap. And this is kind of in the beginning of this unallocated space, which is kind of stopping us from directly expanding the 79 gig because we've got this Linux swap in the way. So if you move this to the end, 
select that you will get a little kind of warning but it's all right just click ok and as you can see that's moved to the end there so this unallocated space now will be easier to expand but just before we do that we need to go back into here into the extended um, and from here we need to get rid of this space so if we just do this um, one thing to remember here is once you've done that you need to select cylinder on this side here on this drop down sorry there we go um, and then once that is done you click back into dev sda1 extension 4 which is our original partition um, and then this should be able to just expand that way there we go and that's essentially done now with this you have these operations are pending so we haven't actually done anything yet we've just kind of told it what to do and we need to click this to apply the operations so let's just click to see if it was successful are you sure you want to apply blah 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 yes there we go and that's all being done so we know that's been successful um, so one thing we're going to have to do quickly is just reboot so if we just open up our terminal again just type reboot uh, we'll just wait for that to quickly reboot okay we're on the login screen Okay, now just to check that's actually been successful, we just go back to the fdisk-l command and I forgot the permissions again. Okay, fdisk-l and there we go. So as you can see, this has been successful. Our size has indeed increased um, and our linux swap solaris um everything is still there so which is great so yeah you know that's been successful we now have more space in our linux um, vm machine so yeah if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe and if you haven't seen any more other videos where we've gone over a few command line basics um how to install and how to secure your machine please go and check them out yeah um thank you so much for watching and have a nice day